Monday. I am over at Dollar General. I had to pick up a couple of things. I picked up the Coke Zero. I am absolutely starving. So we had to leave the house this morning at six. I had to turn the heat on. I'm sorry, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, yeah, we had to leave this morning at six to get to the hospital for my husband's test. Um, he had an echocardiogram today. So hopefully we'll hear about that soon. Um, we're trying to diagnose his shortness of breath problem. Um, then I we got done with that. Actually, they said that it would take like an hour. So we had to check it at 6.30. He was taken back at 7. He was back out at 7.25. So definitely did not take an hour. Maybe they meant an hour like the entire time. I don't know. So I got to work like 10 minutes late. I was thinking I would be a lot later. Um, so this morning I did not bring breakfast or anything because I thought... I was thinking, you know, the last time we went to for a test, um, for his breathing test, we were there for two hours. And, you know, by the time I got back to work, it was like almost 10 o'clock and then lunch was at noon. So I didn't bring anything to eat and I am starving. And I did not, and then I got really busy at work and I was gonna eat like at 11 before I left for lunch, but it did not happen. So for lunch today, I'll put a picture up here um, because I didn't couldn't record anything this morning. So for lunch today, I'm having, um, what am I having? Oh, chili. The chili I made in my meal prep. So it's the three meat chili. It has stew meat, bacon, and what is the other meat? Oh, a hot Italian sausage. I realized that everything I made this week is all spicy stuff. We'll see what happens with that. And I am, um, so I will put that up here along with the macros because you guys, I have committed myself. I think I talked about this a little bit in Saturday's video. Um, but I am committing myself to some major goals for the month of December. Um, I'm going to put it out there and I don't want any mean comments and if they are, I'm just going to delete them. So you guys know that I did awesome in July and August, did really super good with my weight loss and I lost like 15 pounds initially on keto and I'm going to do a whole like six month, but I'm not going to do it till the end of December because I... Like just things have not been going well and it's my own fault. It has nothing to do with keto. It would be the same way no matter what kind of lifestyle I was eating. So July and August did really good. Between those two months, I lost 25.2 pounds. So actually July, August, and part of September. Then, you know, between my husband like having his, you know, emergency appendix and then just all this stuff going on and I can use a ton of excuses and they're all stupid excuses, but they, it is, it is what it is. It's life. And I kind of just let it get away from me. And now just over probably these last, I, I would say, because I kind of stopped weighing myself there for a while and mainly because I think subconsciously I knew that I had gained some weight. And so the last time I weighed was, um, I'd have to actually look at my videos because that was the last time that I actually told you guys that I weighed. And I think it was that week, like three weeks ago when I was going to try my experiment on eating, you know, like I wanted to see, you know, am I not eating enough calories? Am I doing this? So that, that was about three to four weeks ago, I think I want to say, um, of where my last weight was. And when I weighed in on Saturday, I have gained 9.6 pounds. And it literally is just because I have not been being disciplined at all. And the thing is, I know I can maintain on keto because I did it. I did it from pretty much the middle of September all the way to that point in November. I pretty much maintained and I knew how to do it. I just had to eat keto, but I maybe was going a little bit, you know, probably to the top of my carbs that I can handle and was probably over my fat, under my protein. I mean, who knows because I wasn't tracking. And so I know how to maintain though because I maintained just fine for like two months. And then I let myself go and not really even paying, I was eating a lot of non-keto foods and just really letting stress, letting celebration, letting whatever, you know, like I said, I can make a million excuses, but bottom line is I just haven't been, haven't been disciplined and I haven't been paying attention when I'm eating. And honestly, I think the only reason why I was not feeling terrible because I finally started feeling terrible on Saturday. I woke up feeling terrible. I, I think it's like, I know it's like I can go one to two days off keto, then go back on keto for the rest of the week. And I don't, I just don't get to that point where I'm feeling terrible. 
And what I mean by feeling bad, I mean like inflammation, I'm feeling just terrible, I might have bad headaches, I'm my skin breaks out, I'm puffy, all of that stuff happens. And that's how I was before keto. I mean, I was like that every day. I started thinking about it, I'm like, this is how I used to wake up every morning. It would take me a majority of a day to feel like okay. But the inflammation was always there. You guys know that. I've talked about that a lot. Um, the you know puffiness feeling was there a lot. I mean, it was it, it it's just crazy. But when I go off keto for a couple days, it doesn't do that to me. I know with some people, it's like instantly, like they start feeling the effects of being off keto. For me, like I said, it takes me like two full days of being off keto before I feel that way. So that's what I was doing. I was like going off keto for a couple days. Did I do really good for five days and go off? Or I do like every couple days, two days on, two days off, two days on, two days off. I mean, because it's like I knew how to play the system with my body. I really wish I was one of those people that could go off it for just even one meal and feel bad because then I think I would be a lot I would probably not do this to myself but Saturday was definitely a wake-up call because I just did not feel good like I said I was so puffy my face was so broken out and I never have breakouts ever never have even when I was a teenager I never had like a lot of breaks out just like maybe once or twice you know during you know hormonal like acne I would get that once in a while but um, I would get it all the time when I eat sugar like if I know I have to stay off the sugar because I will like break out like instantly and I was like broken out my face was puffy I felt puffy my knees were killing me my shoulder which the pain is pretty much non-existence was killing me it was just everything so I am committing myself and even I'm, I'm not gonna say like I know that Aaron over at Aaron does the keto is doing just trying to do like no cheats through December. I think that's what she had put on her Instagram. I think I could commit to that possibly. But what I can commit to is tracking. 31 days of tracking. So for an entire month of December, I am going to do 31 days of tracking. That means tracking everything. Even if I do have a day that I go off keto, even if it's a planned day of going off keto, I'm gonna track it. And so I think I need to see in myself, I need to see if I'm having 150 grams of carbs, I need to see that and I need to you know, have it down, documented, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, also along with those 31 days of tracking, I'm gonna weigh myself every day for 31 days. I really want to collect that data and I want to compare it to my tracking days if there's anything I need to see when we compare it to my cycle. I just need to get to know my body again and I need to see what helps and what hurts. Um, I did decide against getting the Keto Mojo um, at this point. I heard that you possibly could pay for it with your um, health savings account. I do have one of those so I'm checking with that with my insurance. But in the meantime, I was kind of doing some reading. And I feel like a lot of the things I want to know is not necessarily if I'm in ketosis, which is, it's nice to know that. But again, I'm still like worried about getting obsessed with that number. But I want to know what foods may make my blood sugar rise, which would, from things that I was reading, that's, those are the things that typically kick you out of ketosis. But I still may get the Keto Mojo. I'm just waiting to see for one, if, if I can pay for it with my HSA, then I will just go for it. But if I can't, then for now, I did order a cheap like glucose monitor, but it has really good ratings. And so I ordered that. And I'm gonna test that against some certain things like Bang drink, my Bang energy drinks that I drink every day. Um, the Built Bars, I only have like a couple times a week now, but I, I wanna test those things and see if those things, you know, are making my blood sugar rise, which can possibly kick you out of ketosis. So I'm gonna do that for now, but for now I'm just focusing on, you know, the 31 days of tracking. I'm trying to eat cleaner, the 31 days of weighing and just collecting that data. And then also I just wanna do some things on the personal level um, for my channel. And that is just doing, oh, well, I'm doing 31 days of putting YouTube videos up. So you have a video every day for 31 days. It's pretty much Vlogmas, but not really a vlog like this. It's just a regular vlog. I don't know, like, should Vlogmas videos have something to do with Christmas throughout? The, I mean, I feel like, no, I think it's just about getting a video up every day. I don't know. That's just what my Vlogmas is. So, um, 31 days of videos, and then I'm going to try to do 31 days of posts on um, Instagram, which my Instagram automatically goes to my Facebook. So, it takes care of that one right there. Um, so anyway, I just want to, you know, connect more with people and 
just try to you know get myself into a good headspace and I think that's all that is going on is just that um oh, but this morning I did have some coffee so I didn't just have nothing I had two coffees and I actually put heavy cream in both of them because I was thinking I probably wouldn't have breakfast and so I wanted to make sure I was you know had enough fat would be full enough so I had one regular cup of coffee it was just coffee with um heavy cream and then I had some of the jingle bones coffee with some of the vanilla um, syrup in there and then some heavy cream so I had that for my second cup of coffee on my way to work or my way to my appointment also doing super good on water so I have drank a full 32 ounce a 16 ounce and then this is like 20 20 ounces and it's almost done so I've done super good on water um, I want to try to drink like 96 ounces a day because that seems to be what makes me feel the best and Fridays I will report my weigh-ins for you for the week and they may not always be losses but I just want to start doing that uh, so anyway that's where we're at today dinner tonight I'm kind of experimenting I'm gonna be doing a like chicken skillet with the Swiss chard um, I actually tried Swiss chard for the first time on a home chef meal when I used to get those and I never had it before and it is tasty I really like it so I did pick some up and I'm gonna going to do like a chicken like I have some chicken thighs so like a skillet with that and maybe some bacon and I don't know I'm still kind of thinking I'm just going to just throw it all in there with some Swiss chard I think I'm just gonna throw it kind of all in there and see what happens that is the plan and I'll have that with a side salad so that'll be my dinner and you'll see that after this and I think that's all I have to share with you guys right now I may pop in after work and let you know how the rest of the day went it's been super busy so far this morning a lot going on new people coming in people buying houses so I have to do their verifications it's just been a super duper busy day the day has gone by really fast though which is good guys so I just got home from work I just wanted to tell you guys that change of plans for dinner I think I told you guys about dinner earlier I am so full from that chili I did not get a chance to eat until like two o'clock because I got back and it was just crazy busy and so I did not eat it till two o'clock and it has kept me so full so I think I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna instead of cooking up those chicken thighs in a big huge like dish I'm just gonna roast them in my oven and then have just a side salad I think that's what I'm gonna have and because I just I'm not even gonna eat it right now but I'm gonna have roast them up because I bought them on on like you know clearance like they had like the, the the reduced sticker on them so I need to cook them by today so I'm just gonna cook them all up and just have a simple chicken breast I mean tur oh my gosh you guys chicken thigh and salad so that is what you're going to see. Um, I had a really good day. I will tell you guys about my Black Friday and Cyber Monday purchases. It wasn't very many because I didn't have a lot of money. But I will tell you what I did purchase and show you. I'll try to show them to you in the morning before I leave for work. And uh, a couple other things I want to talk to you about. About maybe some possible upcoming videos and see what you guys think about that. So have a good night. I'll have dinner right here and I will oh, I'll also put my tracker because I'm going to show you guys my tracker every single day. So I will put that up there and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.